to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're actually going to be making our first um, Haven project video in a very, very long time. Oh gosh, it didn't like that. Um, so someone actually requested, in, I think it was on uh, one of the YouTube uh, videos, and I think they mentioned it in the Discord as well, uh, that if I could do an aim down sight video. Now with our current models, they're not really set up for aim down sight, but we can show, I can show you how I would do it um, anyway. So let's uh, go into our blueprints. Let's get open our third person character. Now we're gonna create a new camera object that we are going to call when we want to aim down those sights. Um, let's go into our viewport. Now we don't have a weapon in our hands at the moment, but we do have where our weapon roughly will be. Um, now I can set this up to be our rifle for now. Um, hopefully it should, there we go. Uh, now we can kind of roughly see where um, the object will be or, or our aim down sights will be. Now, when we're looking through it, we don't really get a good actual view. You would have to use um, sort of a UI probably to cover over it, but our camera will sit basically just in front where it would normally be situated. Uh, this will only be set up for the rifle, but you might want um, you might want to set up. Hmm. Now you probably want to set up either a. There's two ways I would do it. Um, but let's get this set up. This is a very basic way to get a weapon done in that manner. But um, there's a couple of ways, as I say, you could probably do it. Um, this is one of the ways, and you could have a different camera for, oh gosh, I didn't mean to move it that way. You could have a different camera um, for each weapon. So like have a pistol camera, etc. cetera, um, have a shotgun camera. You could have a rifle camera. Now you might not want to be able to aim down sights with all your different weapons. It might only make sense to do it with sniper rifles and of course um, uh, rifles. But um, we'll, we'll give this a go anyway. Now I want to reduce the size of it so it kind of makes sense that it looks like it should be where it is. It shouldn't affect any of the visual side of things. Um, but let's just get everything into position anyway. Would help if he wasn't moving around so much. It makes it very jittery to um, to do. But there's our camera for our assault rifle. Now we're going to call this. We are going to call this uh, assault. Uh, we'll call it AR camera, like so. We also need to dedicate a button for this click. Now um, I'm going to do it the. Do, do, do. Which way should we do it? Now, there's, again, there's a couple of different ways games do this. You can hold down the button. You can just click the button, and it'll go into aim down sights and hold there until you unclick it. Um, but let's um, let's go into our project settings first and create a new input. Um, let's go down to do, 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 where is it? Input, and we'll create a new one. Scroll down to find it. Uh, we're going to call this ADS, and I'm going to set this up to be our mouse button. So we want it to be our right button, because we shoot with our left. I just want to double check that I've got that right. Yep, left button is shoot, right button is now going to be aim down sights. And I'm also going to do this for the, um, the gamepad, uh, in which I want it to be our left... Um, our left shoulder button. So we've got our right trigger. Oh, I want it to be left trigger, sorry. Left trigger. Left trigger, that's it. So we hold down our trigger, we hold down our right button, and we're gonna shoot, or you, again, you could just tap it, it'll go into aim down sight mode, and if you tap it again, it'll come out. So back into our third person character. Let's go to our event graph. We're gonna have to find some space somewhere. Uh, let's go down to here. Let's call that ADS trigger action event. There we go. Sorry, I forget I'm not in 5.1 when I'm doing this. Um, and then when we press it, so if you want to hold it, you want to press, you want to set, set. 
Oh, no, we need a new, uh, oh, my apologies, we need a, not a new function, we need a new variable. Gosh, uh, it feels like it's been ages since I've done a, a tutorial. Aim down sites question mark is going to be our boolean. We can close down the function we don't need. And we're going to call that, and we're going to set it. Set our aim down sites. Now, <clears throat> you can use this boolean as well to stop you doing other things. So, for example, if you don't want to reload when you're aiming down sites, when you click your re reload button, you would just set your aim down sights to false. Um, you would automatically set to false. Because we're pressing and releasing, it shouldn't matter too much. So, let's go. Um, so, we now want to check if our, where is it? We want to check to see if, um, I would say we want to do this before this actually. So let's put in a branch. Um, <clears throat> when we just want to check to see if our pistol is active or if our shotgun is active. Now, the best way to do this is just to see if uh, we'll do it as a, like an or boolean to, just to check if either or is um, active. Uh, if that's true, we need to, um, we, we don't want to do anything, right? Um, then we just want to do a check to see if our rifle is active. Now, the reason we do this separately is because we are asking it technically different questions. So if these are active, uh, we just want it to come back um that it does nothing, okay? Because we're not aiming down our sights. The reason we do the rifle separately is because we then want to come off the true. So we want to know that that is active, okay? If we've got no weapon active, we don't want it to do anything because we don't want to aim down sights if we've got nothing in our hands. Same as we don't want to aim down sights if we have our pistol and our shotgun in our hands. So that's why we do those as separate booleans. And if it comes back that that's, that's all correct, we go, we can do what we want to do. So the next thing we want to do is get our cameras. So we're going to get our third person camera. We also want to get our first person camera. And we also want to, actually we've got it set up as an active camera, haven't we? So let's go to our camera somewhere, wherever it is. Where is it? Player? I'm sure we had an active camera, right? There it is, active camera. So we get our active camera. Oops, we don't want to set it. We just want to get our active camera. Because we don't want to change whether we were in third or first person. We just want to know whichever view we're in, that's what we want to manipulate. Uh, and we will go back to that view when we're done aiming down sights. So then we can come here and we can go set active. And we can set it to false. Copy and paste that if you can. There we go. We have. Great. And we want to then say um, our AR camera is true. After all this, I hope this works. <laughs> Copy and paste this, and we just want to swap it back when we're done. Oh, do not do it twice, Jesus. Um, and we want to say that's active and that's not active. Now, this will should, in theory, work um, as a... Um, I don't know what I was going to say there. This should work basically um, straight out of the box. But you will have teething issues when you're doing other things that's not been Boolean checked. As I said, for example, reloading. So let's get our pistol out. Now, if I right click, we can't do anything. If I get my rifle out, we can aim down sights. And I don't think I hit that zombie, but apparently... Oh, it's broken. Because I haven't done a project with it. No updates. Did you die already? Why are you not? No, oh, God, I don't know. Um, <laughs> if we go to our shotgun, where is our shotgun? There it is. Uh, it's not affecting with the aim down sights. That's because I haven't. Uh, but we can aim down sights, and if we've got nothing on our hands, we can't aim down sights. Now, obviously, there's a lot of things that clearly need to be fixed in this project, but I haven't touched it in a very long time. Um, but as you can see, as an aim down sights method, it's working. But again, as I said, you'd probably want to add on a 
Uh, you'd want to remove the player HUD and add in a. Um, why can I get you? Will you die? What the hell? Um, I'm gonna go down there. Die already? There we go. Jesus. Um, oh, I threw a grenade. Oops, my bad. Did it, did it, oh no, I didn't. There you go. Now I did. <laughs> I thought I threw a grenade. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so I'm waffling now, so I apologize. So yeah, it's literally as simple as that. As I said, you would just swap the uh, player HUD out for a uh, aim down sight HUD, which would probably just be like um, a sort of glass kind of material with uh, a crosshair, maybe some fancy sci-fi stuff added into the HUD just to make it look like you actually are looking down the, uh, um, the sort of scope of an assault rifle or a sniper rifle. Uh, hopefully this has been useful, but it's literally as simple as that. If you want to flip-flop it instead so it stays active once you've pressed it, you would just do a uh, a branch here. You would remove that and add it to there and add that into there. Uh, and that would go into there. And we would just check to see if we're aiming down sights. If we... Uh, where was my new variable? There it is and actually you would swap these so if we are aiming down sights it's true we want to stop aiming down sights and if we are not aiming down sights we want to start aiming down sights and you'll see the effect now so you've seen that where you have to hold if i get my if i click on it i'm now aiming down sights and i don't have to move that is why is he not dying i don't know uh, but you have got to be careful when you're reloading, right? That's why I said you probably want to come out of the sights when you're reloading because it looks ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> he's now going to perpetually fall. Oh, gosh. Ah, okay. The other thing we need to do. So, as I said, teething problems, right? When we scroll to change our weapon, uh, we need to check if we are aiming down sights. Um, so we need a boolean. Another another branch check here, um, which will. So that false was going into there. Let's make sure this doesn't break any further. <laughs> Add another branch check in there. Make sure the false goes. Oh no, we no, I've done this wrong. That should be fine. There you go. Uh, that needs to go into there, um, and then. What we want to check again is are we aiming down sights? And you probably have guessed already if we are aiming down sights, we want to then set. No, we want to set, not get. Set. If it's true, we'll set our aim down sights to false. But if it is false, we just carry on. And we would copy and paste that down here as well. So if true, we come out of there and if we are false we come out of there so just tidy that up a little bit so let's give that a try quickly uh, and then that should also be fixed so we'll, let's get our let's get our uh, assault rifle out let's go into aim down sights if we come oh gosh okay oh i see when we're, we're not actually changing the camera back so although it's coming out we need to we do need to set that to false but what we do need to set is the active camera as well so there you go little teething problems there guys um, but hopefully with this it should be working um, yeah we just set that active camera why is it oh I did copy and paste we just set that active camera back to the active camera um, and if this works I probably don't think I need to actually swap the uh, turn the other cameras off, but we'll see. If you do, you just need to add that one in as well. Okay. Compile. Let's go plus play. <clears throat> Let's aim down sights. Let's swap. And it goes back into our other camera. And then we can go back in. Can't do it. It's working now. There you go. So we can aim down sights with our rifle to get a better shot. Uh, although it doesn't kill our zombie for some reason at this point in time. Well, not, not efficiently anyway. Um, and we can also... Um, that works. 
I'm guessing it's like a health thing. See, that works. Are you gonna die? What the hell? There you go. Oh, I think I only set up for the, aim, the rifle. That's probably why. Okay, so that same down sights done. Uh, hopefully, you found this useful. Um, it's not nothing too complicated. Uh, as I say, I probably wouldn't set up for things like a pistol anyway. But you can always just um, you can always just add another camera in there uh, as a pistol, uh, and then um, you could, in theory, um, just do a check to see which weapon you're using and then swap it out yeah thank you so much guys for watching hopefully you found this useful um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button it's free to do and we are very close to a thousand and it would really help us along the way um and don't forget to like and leave a little comment thank you so much guys take care bye